What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another Rockets Hits and Heartbreaks. And boy, we got a lot to go over. A great week for the Rockets uh, all, all around. Just a, This was a lot of fun. It was good to kind of cash in on multiple days, the Rockets with multiple kinds of bets. So uh, let's get right to it. I, I don't want to be here forever with you guys. And I, I you know, I want you to kind of see what we did, what we were thinking, and then uh, we'll go on from there. So let's start with Friday. Uh, Friday was the first nice score uh, for the Rockets here. Uh, we're going to do Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So I'll put the I'll put Delmar Friday. That's what we're going to talk about. I'll put it, the ticket up on the screen now. You see here, seventy-two dollar ticket to start it off. Um, it just felt like we didn't have to go much more than than this. Uh, honestly, I was a little bit worried about the payout for this one. Uh, I, I wasn't quite sure what this thing would pay uh, because. You had the single there, and the single right there in the fourth leg is number four, Fort Bragg. And I thought, that's a lock. No way that horse is going to lose that race. So there's your single. We had another you know, shorter price I thought would be a shorter price, I should say, that actually didn't come in in the sequence to help this pay out tremendously. So uh, $72 ticket was really worried about the return on investment here, so kept it at 72 So race four is where we'll start. And like I said, $72 ticket. We did go four deep in this leg uh, with the one, the two, the four, and the five. The two gets it done. $6 winner, Flavian Pratt aboard. Kind of a theme at Del Mar right now. Flavian Pratt, obviously, uh, like always, <laughs> running very well. So gets get it home here. Nothing to write home about, though. Nothing to get too overly excited about. We moved on to race five next. And even though, again, this one paid $6, um, we did beat a pretty heavy favorite here, and I thought this was kind of a a, a nice, um, nice. You know, even though I only paid six dollars, it, it kind of helped this payout. I think uh, we went one, two, four in here. Originally, I had the four singled uh, and, and ended up saying, no, I'm, I, I don't know. I just this horse has kind of lost some close ones. I, I really thought the four would win the race, but I was a little bit worried he might hang a little bit. And boy, did he ever! Uh, if you watch this fifth race, just the four just bad sneakers just would not finish the race off. It seemed like he even got by at one time and then the two re rallies for the win. So anyway, for our purposes, we're two for two. We're feeling pretty good. Um, like I said, in my mind, I've got a lock single. I just didn't think any way Fort Bragg would lose. So we go four deep in this one. And uh, again, this was um, another one. I, you know, I, I did like the eight quite a bit in here. It was actually my top pick. And, and as we're going to find out, my top pick won the last three races. So really, you know, didn't have to go as deep as I did. So like the eight quite a bit. But you see, we used two, three, seven, eight. We got two, seven and eight right there. So really no stress whatsoever on that one. Speaking of no stress, it was a no stress single. Uh, just just an easy uh, time for Fort Bragg. He, he was fantastic in this race. Um, I think that's going to set him up really well. I guess the Malibu is where Fort Bragg's probably going to go next. I think it sets up really well for him. I, I thought this was a perfect prep. Uh, it, like I said, he, he just outclassed the group. And there were some horses that, yeah, maybe they're a little bit scary, but I just thought he outclassed this group quite a bit. So uh, Fort Bragg, easy win. We're live to three horses, the one, the five, and the eight. I'll scroll down here. And you see the payout is why uh, this thing is going to pay as much as it did. Uh, I use the one, the five, and the eight. The five and the eight's payout's much lower than the one. You see the one Silent Heat pays thirty-eight sixty to win. So we're uh, able to cash this ticket. Like I said, I think the eight was paying like 300 maybe. Um, can't remember. But with the one, look at this, a $72 ticket pays one. Thousand five hundred twenty nine dollars and seventy cents. I was pretty proud of this one. Um, and, and finally, you know, lastly on this ticket, Silent Heat was my top choice in the race. So if you bought the premium products, uh, or if you even you didn't have to buy anything, look at the free picks at Del Mar. This was a pick on the website, went off at 18 to 1 and wins this race. Uh, really going away, pretty easy win for Silent Heat. Never really in doubt once we got to the stretch. Um, uh, look. I had a couple people ask you, like, what did you see in that horse? What do you, you know, what made you really like that horse? You know, I, I I've been a big proponent, really, uh, you know, the last half of the season to to watch replays, and and you watch the replay of this horse's last race, talking about Silent Heat. It, it just looked 
different. It kind of looked like a light bulb had gone on with this horse. And so you take that. I think a lot of people saw the first eight races and then, okay, finally it took nine races. He finally wins. It's like, yeah, he's not going to win now in allowance first time running against winners. And I just kind of looked at it and said, I, I don't even care about the, the last eight races. You watch that one race and it's like, he's looked different. Something kind of clicked and you know, think, a lot of times you do that, guys, and you're wrong, but I thought, okay, this is a race. It's not all that difficult as far as the uh, competition. There wasn't a lot of great horses in this race. I just felt like this was a race we'll take a shot. You know, the five was a three to two horse, and I thought, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to take a shot with a little bit of a price here, and it came in, you know, and again, it's sometimes you, you don't get them but uh when you do it's really nice and you got to make them pay so anyway 72 dollar ticket pays one thousand five hundred twenty nine dollars and seventy cents so super excited uh on friday there at del mar great way to kick off uh del mar on friday now let's talk about aqueduct uh, let's go to aqueduct saturday i'll pull it up right there there you go so we're going to talk about the early sequences before we talk about the pick five uh the early pick five i do want to mention Again, the importance of playing daily doubles and pick threes with your pick fives. Because uh, let's pretend, like I said, I, I let the cat out of the bag. We hit the early pick five. Let's pretend we did not, though. Let's pretend we missed races four or five. So, so let's start with the daily double, the very first daily double of the day, races one through two. Uh, we had a $3 daily double, four, six in the first leg, one, three in the second leg. So a $12 ticket here because uh, we played it for three bucks right off the bat. It comes in four six. We have the four. The fourth pays thirty two dollars and twenty cents. So boom. I mean, we're sitting on a nice daily double ticket already. Um, so th it was huge to get that home. A and and now you're sitting. Okay, if the one or three wins this next leg, it's probably going to pay for most of the day. So we go to the next leg. Of course, the three does win. Pays thirteen dollars uh, to win. And look at this for a one dollar daily double. The Rockets, uh, you know, it pays one thirty three seventy five. We had that three times. I mean, uh, you know, you can do the math. That's almost four hundred dollars. So in the first daily double ticket of the day, you've got the rest of your day paid. It really doesn't matter what happens after that, as far as whether you're going to, you know, make a profit or not. You're you are in really really good shape. So. Again, I always stress it, the doubles and the pick threes are big time plays uh, if you want to build that bankroll up and, and they're not quite as risky as playing those pick fives. And so if you, 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 you know, bomb a pick five in one leg, you might have had the doubles and the threes within that leg. So, all right. Uh, and then the pick three, I want to talk about it as well. Same two horses, four, six, one, three in the first two legs, went one, five, six in the third leg. The five gets it done. And uh, like I said, $12 ticket here again, um, because we played the pick five, or we usually play the pick threes for $1. So a $12 ticket, the $1 pick three here races one through three, pays three forty six. dollars So you're almost, you're about, well, once you have the ticket cost minus out of that, those totals, you're around $700, $750 ahead already. And you still got to pick, uh, pick five that's live that we'll talk about here in a second. But, you know, like I said, you, you're, you've got a guaranteed profit. You're, you're playing with, with a lot of confidence after that. So really nice to see uh, those, uh, those come in. So, uh, you know, when that happens early in the card, you're really feeling good about the rest of it. All right, let's go to the pick five ticket. Uh, I'll, I'll scroll back here. Kind of mentioned already uh, this one, a $96 ticket. Didn't have a single, um, but, uh, you know, just didn't feel like, we need a single four deep in the first leg. We got that $32 20 cent winner with our second choice. Three deep in the third leg, or second leg, excuse me, second choice again uh, wins it. $13 winner, feeling really good there. Four deep here, probably didn't need to be, got the favorite. Uh, so, you know, for a pick five player, I'm sitting there going, oh boy, we went four deep, we got the favorite. Now we're two deep the last two legs. This is where we get a little dicey, right? But if you've played the double, if you played the pick three, listen, you want to hit this pick five and finish it out. But at the same time, hey, I'm already doing really well for the sequence. Now, that being said, we did uh, go ahead and cash this thing. The six works for me. Almost singled the horse. Um, top choice here. Almost singled him. Just didn't uh, didn't feel quite good enough about it. A two-year-old race. Just I didn't want to put all that pressure on that one. So got that home. And then three, four in the last 
and the three, another one almost single the three here. Thought that one looked really, really good. Didn't do it though, because the four um was a Chad Brown horse that I thought might be you know ready to pop a big race. That was not the case though. Three gets it done easy. So uh a, a big price, a middle price, and three favorites here on our $96 ticket. And there you go, $1,229.50. So you can see about a you know roughly you know two grand kind of made in the first five races there uh, at uh, Aqueduct. So good stuff, really good stuff. Uh, we were very very excited on Saturday there at Aqueduct. All right, let's do one more and then we will end this video for you guys. The early pick five uh, at Aqueduct on Sunday. Another ninety six dollar ticket. Another ticket where I didn't have a single. I you know, I, you always want to have that Fort Bragg situation at least. And again, some people might try to beat Fort Bragg. That's fine. I'm saying in your, in your, when you handicap a sequence of five races, you always want to have that horse. So you're really confident in, right. And again, when, when, when you see a ticket like this, 96 bucks, you're, you're like, yeah, I'm not real confident in anybody here. Right. And so that, that was kind of, um, I, I would rather have a horse that I, I, I like the Fort Bragg situation, but that, that's what I'm trying to say. So anyway, four deep, the first leg, one, three, five, and six. No, no problems there. One, three, six come in and it was good. Uh, the, the six was a pretty heavy favorite in here and the one ends up getting the win. So, you know, you beat a favorite, you go four deep and you did get a little bit of a price. That's always a good feeling. Same here in a way we went one, two, four, seven in the second leg. It comes in one, seven, seven, uh, you know, the one was, was right around seven to two, you know, it seven to twos are, are decent in, in pick fives because you're beating favorites again. So it was good to do that. We're too deep in the next two legs. Um, and this was the big one for me. I think a lot of people did single the six Ben Dug. I really liked uh, aggregation on top. I, I put that horse on top to win again, free picks. If you went there, you saw that the two was the uh, pick on the website gets it done. Pays 1040. This is what makes this thing go. I think this was the six was probably the horse that got singled the most in the sequence, you know, pretty heavy favorite. So to, even though we beat the, you know, even though our, our horse that we use only paid 1040, that's still a big time win in the sequence here. So the two winning was big, too deep in the in the next leg. And again, we went too deep. We got a 960 winner. We'll take it. Uh, you know, that's that's just fine. Um, so you you're you're alive now to three horses to try to finish this thing out and have a nice uh, Sunday again here at Aqueduct. We used the four seven nine in the last. The nine gets it done. Uh, you know, we had the seven as well. Just not a lot of uh, worry. It was kind of a stress free type of ticket. That's always good when you're playing a pick five. Uh, like I said, ninety six dollar ticket here. Not quite a thousand. Paid nine hundred and ninety dollars and twenty five cents. But still, uh, another another really nice one. Um, you know, as far as heartbreaks go, we had a, a couple more at Del Mar. Uh, I, I can't remember if it was Saturday or Sunday. Really close and. You know, one leg, like I said, screwed it up. Now, fortunately, through some of that on Saturday, we were able to hit some pick threes and doubles to kind of even it out. But uh, yeah, it could have. It was a great week. It could have been even better. Uh, I I couldn't be feeling more confident right now uh, in the Rockets. I, I I think you know, definitely, it, it's been a year of of some weird results at times. But it feels like we're kind of really connecting on a lot of this for a couple of weeks now. Uh, especially with the doubles and the pick threes. I, I just I really feel good that that's going in the right direction. So that's what happened uh, this weekend uh, or, or this week, I should say, with the last week, I should say, with the Rockets. Uh, we'll be back this week. Uh, we'll, we'll have Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday coverage, you know, mostly Del Mar, Aqueduct, and Churchill Downs. We will go to Fairgrounds on Thursday. Um, and maybe, I don't know, we may do another day as well for them. We'll see. So we'll get Fairgrounds kind of get involved a little bit as well. But all right, that'll do it for Rockets Hits and Heartbreaks this week. Thanks, everybody, for watching. And we'll see you right back here next week as we kind of go over kind of our thoughts uh, on what's going on with this product. <laughs>